Welcome to my channel Dazzling Stepping Stone. Today let's discuss about temperature measurements. So the contents are what are the vital signs of patient, what is systematic temperature measurement, what is thermometer, thermocouple, thermistor, what is skin temperature measurement and infrared thermometer. So first let us discuss about the vital signs of patient. If you are going to hospital immediately the clinician will check about the temperature, pressure, pulse rate and breathing rate that is respiration. So these four parameters are considered as the vital signs and the pain is considered as the fifth sign of patient. So these all the parameters should be monitored very closely so that only we can give correct treatment to the patient. If there is any deviation in the signs, definitely the system will be changing. Our body will be reflecting in their function. So that the doctor has to discuss with the patient directly. He has to analyze his present condition and he has to compare with the normal standard values. Based on that, he has to give proper treatment. So the vital sign of patient is a very very important thing. So now we will move to the topic temperature measurement. There are different types of temperature measurement. The first type is systematic temperature measurement and the second type is surface temperature measurement. So what is systematic temperature? The systematic temperature which is a temperature which is generated due to the system. System is internal organs of our body. So it's a temperature which is created due to the internal regions of the body. So now the heat may be generated due to the tissues of our body. Sometimes the heat may be lost due to the changes of environment. So we have to take care of body temperature carefully. The normal body temperature is 37 degrees centigrade. Now let's move to surface temperature. So it's a temperature which is changing due to the surface of the body. Surface means skin. So this surface temperature is also known as skin temperature. The skin temperature may be varying due to the environmental condition changing. Sometimes the environment may be very hard, sometimes it will be very cool. So based on the environmental changes, the surface temperature is varying. So, to obtain the meaningful measurement, the ambient temperature should be 21 degrees centigrade. Now, you can understand what is systemic temperature, what is surface temperature. Now, we will move to what are the different devices we can use to measure the systematic temperature and surface temperature. Let's see now. First topic, systematic body temperature measurement. We know that. So, the temperature which is arising due to the internal organs of our body. The first device we are using is mercury thermometer. So this is mercury thermometer. It's a glass tube which is filled with mercury. So it is invented by Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit in the year of 1714. So it's a mercury. It is filled in this tube. It's a glass tube and the volume of mercury is changing with respect to the body temperature. Now let's move to the second device that is thermocouple. So this, this is the device which is used for measuring the systematic body temperature. It's having two end. So these two wires are there here. So these two wires are made by different metals and these are connected at two different points so that the voltage will be developed across the two junctions and then we can measure the temperature based on the voltage. Now, the third device used to measure the systematic body temperature is thermistor. So, it's a combination of thermal and resistor. So, that is called as thermistor. So, here we are having the word thermal means heat. So, due to the body temperature, the resistance is changing. So, it is called as thermistor. It's a very, very cheapest device. It is mainly useful in biomedical field. I already told that the resistance is varying depends on the temperature. So we can say the resistance which depends upon temperature. When the temperature changes, the resistance of the thermistor also changing. The benefit of thermistor is it's giving good accuracy and stability. So it is mostly used in biomedical field when comparing with other devices. 
these are the various shapes of thermistor it is used in uh, medical field with different application we are using this it is used for measuring systematic body temperature there are two types of thermistors first one is negative temperature coefficient so what is negative temperature coefficient we should know and the second type is positive temperature coefficient so what is negative temperature coefficient we know that thermistor means the temperature is varying due to the changes of the temperature resistance is changing correct the two parameters are temperature and resistance so if the temperature is increasing then the resistance is decreasing so it is called as negative negative temperature coefficient now let's coming to positive temperature coefficient here also we are using the same parameters temperature and resistance it is called as positive so if the temperature is increasing resistance is also increasing so it is called as positive temperature coefficient thermistor then we have to calculate the resistance of the thermistor using the formula rt1 equal to rt0 into e power beta of 1 by t1 minus 1 by t0 so here this rt1 means it's a resistance r means resistance at temperature t1 similarly rt0 means it's a resistance due to the temperature t0 here t0 we know that t means temperature at reference value so we can call it as reference temperature and t1 is a temperature at which we are measuring the parameter okay beta is called as temperature coefficient now what are the problems are coming in thermistor so while we are using thermistor it may be automatically heated so it is called as self heating so it's a main problem in thermistor so to overcome this problem we can use limited current during the measurement that's the first option we can do and the second option the power dissipation of thermistor should be maintained in milliwatts range to overcome this problem and also we have to choose a thermometer pro properly based on the resistance and sensitivity so if you are using if you are doing this process we can avoid this self heating problem so now we have discussed about systematic body temperature measurement and we have discussed different devices to measure the systematic body temperature now let us move to skin temperature measurement so we know that skin temperature measurement here the temperature which is arising due to the skin surface this is also called as surface temperature so how we can measure the skin temperature so the temperature which is arising due to the outer surface of the body it is not constant throughout the body normally the skin temperature is varying from 30 to 35 degrees centigrade here to measure the skin temperature we can use small flat thermistor probes see this this is called as small flat thermistor probe it is used to measure the skin temperature or surface temperature next device used is infrared therm thermometer so it is used to measure the skin temperature so here we are using infrared rays to measure the temperature so it is a device which is having the ability to measure the temperature from distant we don't want to keep touch on the body surface if you are keeping the device at some distance we can measure the temperature due to the radiation so here we are using infrared rays due to the emissivity principle we can measure the body temperature and this device is also called as thermal radiation thermometer why we are calling this as thermal radiation thermometer here we are using we are fixing the device we are keeping the device somewhat distant from the body surface due to the temperature or due to the thermal radiation from the body we are measuring the temperature so it is called as thermal radiation thermometers now here we are using the concept thermovision it is a technology which is suitable for non contact monitoring and controlling of process so thermovision process which is used in non contact monitoring of temperature so with the help of thermovision we can measure the body temperature without touching the body so that uh, unknown temperature value we can see by your eye using the device now let us move to the next concept thermography so thermograph it's a device it is used to measure the temperature so thermography means it's a process of measuring temperature so this is infrared thermography 
thermal imaging and thermal video. These are the examples of infrared imaging science. We can use thermographic cameras to detect the radiation and by using this electromagnetic spectrum, we can measure the temperature. The spectrum range will be varying from 9 to 14 micrometer and this method is producing the images of radiation that is called as thermogram. So see, this is the example of thermogram of cat image. So thermography which allows a person to see variations in the temperature and humans and other warm-blooded animals can also visible during the daytime or night time. And this thermographic concept is mainly useful in military purpose and also used in surveillance cameras. Now we have discussed about the skin temperature measurement. It's a different concept we have discussed. So now the task you can do from this today's concept is corona deduction. So the temperature is the major sign for the corona deduction. Coronavirus is affecting everybody, everybody nowadays. Everyone is affected by this uh, disease. So uh, for uh, understanding the concept of temperature measurement or for reduction of corona, you can do a simple task using lung image. You can download the lung image from uh, online. It is freely available. Why we are choosing lung image means the corona disease, uh, the virus which is affecting lung mainly. So we have to choose the lung image uh, which is uh, the image or the database which is having both the images, both the normal image and corona detected, corona affected image. Both the images we have to choose uh, that is called as database. Now you can use any machine learning algorithm based on the features extraction concept. You can separate, uh, you can uh, classify the images into normal and abnormal. So that you can detect the corona disease. It is the basic uh, step for identifying the disease. You can try. Okay. So the creative thoughts can create a useful product to the society. So try to develop your creativity. Thank you for watching this video.